what's going on boys and girls so we are here with another hardware review um most of you know that i am a sucker for odd hardware um anybody who knows my channel i've had owned some of the weirdest hardware you can think of i'm still rocking a blackberry i'm a blackberry uh enthusiast i love me some bb10 um you know right now i'm rocking a blackberry priv as my daily driver um you know, my tablet of choice is still a BlackBerry Playbook. Like, I love oddball hardware. Like, as another example, I have a HP touchpad coming in soon that I plan on to do a review on. Um, I'm not one for to always need the latest and greatest. I have decent, like, I have a decent uh, machine, like, main machine. But, like, I've never been one for to need the latest and greatest. So, um... This particular piece of hardware kind of fell into my lap, so to speak. Um, I don't know if this will actually turn on at this point. But what I ended up picking up is a, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, a Sony. Now, this particular machine is what they call a Sony Vio Duo. Um, and I'll get into the Duo why. It's a dual purpose machine. Um, so... First off, it just looks like a giant tablet, and you wouldn't be far off from that. But let's get into that. Uh, is this like you know? Is this going to be like what you know, a Surface Book or a Surface Pro, where you you know attach the keyboard? Yeah, we'll get into that. But let's talk ports and stuff. First up, you have a couple of USB ports. You have your HDMI out, and you have your power button. On the front, you have a couple of indicator lights for your hard drive. Or sorry, SSD and various other functions and whatnot. On the bottom, you have an assist key, which is access to the BIOS and that kind of stuff. Um, your orientation lock and your volume up and down buttons. On the other side, if I am showing the right side, nope, wrong side. If on this side, yes, VGA connector, this is partially a business machine. Uh, also with a full SD card reader and a combo headphone microphone jack. And for those that want to know what's on the back, you actually have gigabit Ethernet along with the uh, power plug. And that's pretty much it. That's all the machine has. Um, there's a slice battery on the bottom of this unit. So you shave from about here off. It's actually pretty flat. Um, battery life, about two and a half hours on the without the slice and about four four and a half with the um other you know battery on it so with that said what's the front of this uh the front of this is a full 1080p screen 1920 by 1080 um and you are running on a 11.6 inch screen now the system specs on this machine are in particular um they're going to be a Core i5 third gen with six gigs of RAM and 128 gig SSD. Um, on the front, you'll have your uh, 2.4 megapixel webcam, and obviously you have your Windows button, super button, call it whatever you want. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this does have a rear facing camera on the back that is a 2.4 megapixel also. Um, so, is this a drop in, you know, like a, like a surface? No, this is actually what they call a slider design. So if you do that, it's actually, you know, like if you're a black old school BlackBerry user or slider phone type, you know, text there from way back in the day, this is a uh, no brainer to you. Um, this is a slider design all the way through and through. Because as you can tell, you know, you got the nice vial logo hiding a bunch of the uh, mechanics. Because if you look kind of in there, you can see some of the springs. Like, you know, there you go. A lot of the springs and stuff. Um, this only has one position. So you're stuck with whatever you got. The keyboard is backlit. Uh, it uses the ambient light sensor right now. So that's a little not 100% the way it should be. I do not run Windows on this thing. I cannot stand Windows. Um, this came with Windows 10. Um, 
ran perfectly fine under Windows before I boot and nuked it. Um, running Linux on this has been a experience. Uh, this is currently running Ubuntu 1604. Uh, I've tried Chaos and I've tried Ubuntu Budgie and I tried Solus. Any GNOME based DE other than Unity and KDE or Plasma have had issues. So any GNOME issues have been with the um, what they call the track point thing right there in the center. Um, it's an optical track point, so you can move it around and click on it and all that kind of stuff. Um, think a cross between like a Blackberry's optical track point and the track point from a uh, ThinkPad. That's kind of your your, your, your gist. Um, screen brightness is like 400s. This thing is really bright, um, and I love it for that. It stays nice and bright, and I don't have to worry about stuff. Uh, other than that, performance has been solid. Battery life is about what I expect for a five-year-old machine. Um, you can upgrade this. It's a little wonky to get into. I really don't. The 6 gigs is good enough for what it does. Um, so why would I get something like this? I just enjoy odd hardware, and I love to see when... OEMs try something different. Manufacturers try something different. And I kind of, you know, really like to support that, even if it's, you know, well after that. I'm not going to drop, you know, 1100 bucks on a machine, but, you know, even if it's in the form of a video showing, like, hey, this, this stuff's kind of cool. Um, because this isn't stuff you see all the time. And, you know, maybe somebody will uh, try it out as another OEM or something. And that's all we can hope for. But performance has been good. Everything works. It's a straight up Intel machine. So if you're a Linux user and you want a Sony or quote unquote Vio now, I'd definitely pick this up. I would not see a problem with this as a daily driver. Um, might want to look for the one that's the i7 with eight gigs and a 256. But other than that, I think even the base model is hella decent. So you guys know what to do. Rate it, subscribe. Peace out.